Good morning, dear students. I am Leda, your science teacher. Welcome back to our science class, chapter 8, Plants, Form and Function, part 4. In last class, we have already discussed about the topic, about root, its functions and different types of roots. Hope all of you understood that topic well. Students, one more thing. You have to revise all chapters. All chapters means except first and second. The class test is on 23rd of September. Two chapters are coming, 5 and 6. But in October, you already got syllabus and date sheet. Five chapters are coming. That is chapter 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. Next month, we will start revision also. Then all students revise today itself. Today we will learn next part of a plant that is flower. It is the most important and attractive part of the plant. It is the reproductive part of a plant. You know what is the meaning of reproduction. That means producing young ones of their own kind. You will learn in higher classes. It helps the plant to produce more of its kind. For this reason. It is the most important part of a plant. Next topic is parts of a flower. Flowers vary in shape, size and color. But most flowers have the same basic structure. When we are observing a flower, we can see different parts arranged in rings or walls. The important parts of a flower are sepals, Petals, stamens and carpel. First you understand what is a sepal. When you are taking a flower, the downside, the outermost world consists of green leaf-like structure. We can see. They are called sepals. Then what is its function? It protects the flower in bud stage. Before opening flower, it is protecting the bud. The next part is petal. The inner wall consists of petals. They are the most important part of a flower and usually bright colored and having good smell. What is the function of these colored petals? It attracts insects and animals for pollination. Petals are in of different shapes. Tubular, bell-shaped, funnel-shaped or wheel-shaped. Many flowers produce a sweet liquid called nectar. First chapter you have already studied that. From this nectar, honeybees are making honey. In some flowers like lily, sepals and petals are looking alike. In grass, wheat Rice, maize, mango, flowers are not prominent or brightly colored. But flowers of rose, lotus, dahlia are colorful and noticeable. Some flowers bloom in the daytime to attract insects, butterflies and bees. But some flowers bloom at night and generally white in color. Example, jasmine. If we remove sepals and petals, then we can see the next part, that is the male part or male reproductive part, that is stamen. Each stamen consists of two parts. A thin, long, thread-like portion is called filament. A swollen or knob-like structure at the tip of the filament is called anther. The male gametes Pollen grains are produced in the anther. The next innermost part of a flower is called carpel or pistil. It is the female reproductive part of a flower. Then carpel also having three parts. Ovary, style and stigma. Then what is ovary? It is the swollen portion at the base of the carpel. It consists of 
one or more ovules or egg like structures the ovary extends above as a thin long structure called style the style ends in a knob like structure at the tip is called stigma it receives the male gamete pollen grains stamens and carpels are essential for plants to help them to reproduce next bisexual and unisexual flowers what is bisexual flowers some flowers contain both male and female reproductive organs that means male reproductive organ stamen and female reproductive organ carpel are present in one flower that type of flowers are called bisexual flowers for example rose hibiscus mustard sunflower etc next unisexual flowers in some flowers contain only one reproductive organ that is male or female stamen or carpel any one is present in one flower they are known as unisexual flowers examples flowers of cucumber papaya corn mulberry etc please write down the following questions question number 1 name the male and female part of a flower question number 2 what is the function of colored petals in a flower thank you have a nice day